Hello everyone and thank you for joining us here at Bitcoin Exchange. My name is Jay and I wanted to go over a video, put out a new video, concerning some of the questions that we're receiving about IOTA. Several people have commented and uh, asked me to go over how do you buy IOTA coins. So I wanted to throw a video out here to kind of explain the process of how to buy IOTA coins. And so first of all, you're going to need a Coinbase account. This is Coinbase.inc or .com rather. And you can go over here if you don't have a Coinbase account. You need to open up a Coinbase account. And I would start also uh, while you're doing this, you're going to have to get a Bitfinex account. This is Bitfinex.com. This is the only place that right now you can purchase IOTA uh, is on the Bitf Bitfinex exchange. And so you're going to need an exchange account with Bitfinex to get that set up and verified. And you're going to need a Coinbase account and they're going to verify pretty much the same way. You're going to have to send them a picture, a high quality resolution picture of the front of your driver's license, the back of your driver's license, send them in uh, different questions. They're going to ask you for security and it's going to take maybe a day or two to get your account with Bitfinex set up. But you need to do that and do a real good job with getting clarity of photos in there so that it will take less time. Once you get your Bitfinex account set up and you have your Coinbase account set up, Here's what you want to do. I've got my Coinbase here. I've moved everything off of Coinbase prior to the hard fork that was coming, and I'm not going to be doing anything. I'm getting everything prepared to move my particular investments, and a lot of my investments, over into another opportunity. It's going to be fantastic. So right now, there's going to be very little in either one of these accounts. So anyway, that being said, what I would do is because uh, Bitcoin is at 33.84, and this has been very volatile here in the last week or so. It went from 20. 700 all the way up to 3384, 3885, and that's going to be fluctuating. I wouldn't buy Bitcoin to do this. I would buy Ethereum, which has gone up very little. So, and the reason is because if you buy a Bitcoin and it takes you a day or two before you send your Bitcoin over into Bitfinex to trade it into IOTA, Bitcoin could drop, and I expect it to drop back down around 2900 for a little while and then go back up again. Over time will tell, we'll see, but I don't want you losing any money during that time. So I would do Ethereum, and the way that you're going to have to do this is you're going to have to send Ethereum, and, and you're going to have to uh, do that by going over here to Bitfinex. This is a Bitfinex platform. Here's your, your candlestick uh, chart telling you how uh, IOTA has been doing. This is IOTA. Typically, we'll go over here to when it opens up for you, it's going to be Bitcoin. It's going to be showing this candle uh, stick graph here about the volatility of Bitcoin the last X amount of days or hours or whatever. So what you want to do is once you get your account set up and you get logged in, you're going to come down here to the bottom. Over here it says deposit. You click on this deposit and it's going to bring up all the different options that you can use. So now you're going to be depositing Ethereum right here. So you click on that. And it's going to bring you to this page, and you can read all about this. This is a, basically a notice about smart contracts, and you can read all about that. Here's the big thing here. you got three wallets. you got an exchange wallet, you have a margin wallet, and you have a funding wallet. And without going into how the exchange operates with marginals and, and fundings and different things, I'm going to say we're just only using this exchange wallet for this particular purpose. So you're going to be depositing your Ether, in, your Ether Ethereum into your Ethereum wallet in the exchange because that's what you're going to do with it. You're going to later exchange it. So here is the address. You're going to copy and paste this. You're going to highlight it, right click and hit copy. And you're going to take note of the first five or six alphanumerics on the left and the last five or six alphanumeric letters on the or numbers on the right. So you're going to write these down 060630 or whatever it may be on your end. And then over here is 7C8DDF, okay? That way I have the front and the back end of this entire address. Once I have this highlighted and saved in my clipboard, I come back over here to Coinbase. And then I say, okay, I'm into my Ethereum wallet. I'm going to ascend. I'm going to be sending Ethereum. And it's going to be going into this wallet. Copy and paste there. And there's your number, 060630, 7C8DDF. So I know it's going to the right address. If you don't get this right, you could lose everything you're sending and never get it back. Okay, and then it'll be in Ethereum, and you can change that once you're actually sending Ethereum. 
and send the funds. You hit send the funds and it will send them. I'm going to move this back to the dashboard. It will send your Ethereum over here to Bitfinex. And you'll see over here, uh, you can watch that as, as this gets verified and it'll take, it could take several hours depending on how the blockchain being backed up or not. But once this gets verified, the money will indeed be in your wallet. And you can go over here to managing wallets. You can go up here to reports and find out how things are going. But once it gets into your wallet, you're going to come back over here to your uh, candles. And you're going to uh, come back over here to this left side. And you're going to drop down to Ethereum, USD. Here's US Ethereum. Here's Ethereum USD. It's trading at 268.40. USD versus Bitcoin. Or Ethereum versus Bitcoin, rather. You want to click on USD. Because <clears throat> you're going to change your Bitcoin, or your Ethereum, rather, into USD. So if you got $1,000, let's say that you sent $1,000 worth of Ethereum into your wallet here at Bitfinex. You're going to be showing $1,000 of Ethereum right here in this wallet. You're going to go up here and you're going to sell it. And you're going to sell the amount of Ethereum, which $1,000 is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of like 3.4 or 3.34 or something like that Ethereum. You're going to want to leave a little of Ethereum in. You'll notice I have a little bit here, 0.11. You're going to leave a little bit of Ethereum in your wallet to cover the transaction fee. So if it's a thousand dollars worth of Ethereum or a three point, let's say three point four, you might want to send three point uh, six or three point three six or three point three five Ethereum. That way you got a little bit extra to pay for the fees, and then you'll hit exchange sell. Now it's right now it's two sixty eight thirty six. It dropped here two sixty eight twenty six. Dropped down again. You just saw it to twenty three. So no one's going to buy your Ethereum at 268.36 if it's selling for 268.23. So you're going to have to adjust this price here for the market price that you see here. This will sell quickly. Okay? Or you can sit and wait hours if you want it to sell at a higher rate and hope that someone will buy it. But I kind of I sell at market rate when I do this because I want to get my IOTA and get it done with because my goal is not to make pennies. My goal is to make thousands of dollars. So I will do that. So you put that over here and you hit exchange sell. And you can come down over here to the lower right and it'll tell you once that has happened, your Ethereum has been sold, your order has been fulfilled. And then over here in your US dollar wallet, I show $1.83 in mine. As again, I told you to pull everything off. You're going to show near $1,000 up here, $9.98 or something like that. Okay. And once you get that in your USD wallet, You'll go back up here, and you notice how that changed. You see a blue line streak across there. You, I'm going to come down to IOTA right here, and it says IOTA USD, and I'm going to click on that. And it's at 48.25 cents per IOTA coin, which is fantastic. I bought my IOTA at 25 cents, so we're doing really good here. I made close to $1,500 this week just on IOTA jumping up to that high. Now, it's going to fluctuate. Expect it to fluctuate because IOTA hasn't even started to really take off yet. If this thing takes off, it's going to go very quickly, parabolic, shooting up as it does. But right now, you got a great time to get into this and buy. So what you want to do is you're going to look at IOTA selling at 48.2 cents. And you're, going to, you're going to have to take how much money you have in your USD wallet, and you're going to have to divide that by this number up here, 0.48201. And it'll tell you how many pieces or how many coins of IOTA you can buy. You'll put that number right here. You're not putting U.S. dollars here. You're putting the amount of IOTA coin you're buying at this price in order for you to get that IOTA exchanged from U.S. dollars into this IOTA account right here. So when that happens, you hit Exchange Buy and see this 48.25. Okay. It will go through. If it doesn't go through, if this goes higher than what you have here, okay, then you need to adjust it. And that'll be down over here where you have a place where you can adjust your bid to match the market to sell it. And they'll sell it to you at that match market. You have to adjust the amount that you're buying. Or, yeah, you have to make sure that these two match so that you can get the most that you can for the money you have at that price.
you hit exchange buy, then the IOTA will end up in your IOTA account right here, and it'll tell you when it's been fulfilled, and you'll have, I don't know, 2,000 IOTA coins or thereabouts, okay? Because the $1,000 you're gonna have roughly, you're gonna have $2,000 and some change, 2,000 coins and some change over here. Now, once that takes place, I would not, I would not keep my IOTA coins on the Bitfinex exchange because they can get hacked and you can lose your money. So what I would do at that point is if I can do this and keep this thing going here on this, I would Google IOTA wallet download. And it will pull up and say, you can go to GitHub here and you can click on that, go down here and say, okay, I want the IOTA wallet and I would do the um, 2.31 right here the IOTA wallet setup 2.31 and then when you go in and, s and download this I actually you have choices I did the light wallet because it was simpler but then you're going to be asked to create you're going to be asked to create an 81 character go back over here click this off you're going to go be asked to put in an 81 character seed S-E-E-D seed that's, that's a password, and it's going to be all capital letters, and they're going to offer you a seed generator where they can generate that 81 characters for you. Do not do that, because then they have your, they potentially have your seed on their history. What I did was I went into my, um, into my Windows platform, got into Microsoft Word, hit the cap clock, and I typed in 81 capital letters. Now there are only one number that you can put in that. You can put nines in and you can put them anywhere you want them. I spaced several nines throughout my string and then I kind of laid it out the way I wanted. But when I got all 81 the way I wanted it, I printed it off so I had a hard copy of my records. And then I copied it and I put it into the seed when I started the download, once I opened up my IOTA wallet, it says setting it up, what is your 81 password seed? And I put that in there, copied and pasted it in there, and launched it. When I did that, it'll open up and say, do you want to receive or do you want to send? And then you will say, I want to receive. And so it'll give you an address. When you get that address, you copy it and paste that into your clipboard. Right click and copy it. Highlight it all and copy it. You come back over here to IOTA. You come down to the bottom of this and you're going to say withdraw. You're going to go back over here to IOTA and you're going to say where do you want it. You go up here and you right click and you put in that wallet address, whatever that may be. That was the one that's still in my... You'll put your wallet address, not your seed. It'll give you a wallet address in your IOTA wallet and then you tell them how much IOTA and MIOTA means thousand IOTA. And then from what wallet, and, and it'll be from your exchange wallet, and then you hit withdrawal request, and then it'll tell you, and it'll ask you to verify the request. And actually, Bitfinex uses a, uh, S, uh, an SMS code that you will get from Microsoft or Google Authenticator. You'll set that up. It'll ask you for the Google authentication code to make sure this is you withdrawing your funds. When you put that in there, you get it sent. It will send the IOTA from Bitfinex off of their off of their exchange into your IOTA wallet that's on your computer. Now, I say on your computer. The truth is, the seed is your wallet. So if you're anywhere, if you're if you have that seed written down and your computer crashes or whatnot, or you go overseas and you're over there and think, I want to sell, you can download a wallet on any computer, put your 81 character seed in there, and it will automatically load your, your IOTA onto that system, and you, then you can send it back and exchange it the reverse way we just bought it. So it's real easy to do, but that way it gets it off of the Bitfinex exchange. You're going to want to do that. You're going to want to take that off and protect it, because I'm going to tell you what, as this thing grows, and folks, this thing is just starting, I'm so excited for this particular cryptocurrency. Why? Well, because I've already made $1,500 off of it this week, and it hasn't even started. I put out on a, uh, a, 
a previous uh, IOTA price prediction that I put out there that IOTA, I believe, in the next 10 years could hit $2,500 a coin. And I've had a lot of people say that looks that sounds reasonable. I had a couple of people say that sounds a little unreasonable, you know, and that's okay. Everybody has their opinions and, and their reasons for believing that. I have mine. I'm going to tell you what. If I if I missed it by ninety percent and it only hits two hundred and fifty dollars, you, you you can be rich off of that. If it hits two hundred and fifty dollars, I'm worth I'm worth well over two and a half million dollars off of what I've got involved in it, and it's nowhere near that. It's under three thousand dollars. I'm expecting great things with that. So anyway, just wanted to put this, put this out there to answer the question. This is the simplest way that I know to do it. I wanted to walk you through the process. And I hope this helps. If you uh, haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment or throw me out a question or whatever, and I'll do my best to answer it for you. And I just want to take the time to say thanks for watching and tuning in here to Bitcoin Exchange. I appreciate everybody and all the great feedback we've been getting. Take care now, and we'll see you on another video.